in Scripture. Why is that? Because first, because first Peter says something. No, 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 no. Take that back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. First Timothy. Can we go to First Timothy? Can you bring it down, First Timothy? Uh, see, yep. Mm. Um, it definitely ain't going the way I was planning on going. I'm sorry, 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 3. Second Timothy 3.16. Can you get it? Mm. Where do I go to, to get the uh, different books? I should. See right here? Yep. Okay, here's the way on the side. Hebrews. Hebrews. It says, all scripture is given by the inspiration of who? The Holy Spirit. Of who? The inspiration of God, sorry. All scripture is given by inspiration of who? God. And it is proper for what? It is proper for what? Doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That's what the scripture says. That's what the scripture says. But watch what it says. It says, But evil man and seduced wax works and works and deceiving is being what? And being deceived. But continue thou in the thing which thou hast learned and have been assured. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that from a child thou have known the Holy Scripture, which are able to make thee wise into salvation through the faith which is in Christ Jesus. All Scripture, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, all Scripture are given by the inspiration of God. Why? Because if you read verse 15, it says, and that was from a child that had not the Holy Scripture, which is able to make things wise in unto salvation through faith, which is in whom? Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus. Which is in whom? Christ Jesus. Are you in Christ Jesus? Mm -hmm. So all Scripture, all Scriptures, are given by the inspiration of God and is proper for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Why is that so important? First of all, show it to me in Scripture. Show it to me in Scripture. Now, if it's in scripture, I can look at it 
I can look at the scripture and see things. And for is for doctrine. Correct? You know what doctrine means? It means to teach. Doctrine is instruction, is to teach. So, it's proper for my teaching. It's for reproof. It's for correction. I can correct people in the scripture. Correct? And it's also for instruction in righteousness. Because we know the scriptures is righteous. We know the scriptures is holy. We know the scripture is just. Paul says, for the law is, is holy and just. Am I subject to the scripture? Am I subject to the scripture? Yes. So now, because I am subject to the scripture, now I can't be deceived. In order not to be deceived, you've got to show me the scripture. Because I can't take your word for it. Remember I told you don't trust a preacher? Because <laughs> I can say anything. Say what? Prove it. Prove it. You open your big mouth. Now prove it. Why is that so important? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Because we're talking about the inside. I have to take my doctor and bring it into the check. To this. I have to take my doctrine, what I teach, and bring it in subjective to this. <laughs> I can't take this and conform it into my doctrine. See, that's what we've been doing. That and we conform it unto our doctrine. No, I take my doctrine and bring it under subjective to this. Because if it's not in this, it's not true. If it's not in Christ Jesus, it's not true. So if I'm going to preach a, a, a message, is it subject to Christ? Is it subject to the gospel of Jesus Christ? For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone believe, first the Jew, then the Greek. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed because it is written. Because we move faith by faith, for it's written, the just shall live by faith. Is it subject to the gospel? Wait a minute here, Pastor. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the end time. I'm talking about the end time. If I go back to Matthew, see, everybody thought I was just talking about the doctrine of the end time message. I don't care about the doctrine of the end time message. If you're saying that there's rumors of war, we're saying that there's deceit. Watch this. Watch this. Watch 
He says in 15, he said, And this gospel shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. That's what the scripture says. Then therefore you shall see abomination destruction spoken in Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, and whoever reads, let him have an understanding. Then let them that be in Judea flee into the mountain. Let them that be on the housetop not come down to take anything out of the house. Neither let them that be in the field return back to the club. But woe unto those that with child and them that give suffering. But pray that your flight be not wounded. Neither on Sabbath. But in that, watch this, for then. See, all this stuff got to happen. All this stuff got to happen. Watch this. Watch this. After all that stuff happened, this is what I love. Verse 20, 21. For then shall be great tribulation. Is that what the scripture says? There's going to be an abomination and destruction as it's spoken in the Daniel the prophet. You go then, and, and if you really want to understand, read Daniel the 12th chapter. So, in case someone wants to say that I don't know what I'm talking about, it's Daniel the 12th chapter is what he's talking about. And this is where we get the three and a half years and the three and a half years. And this is where a lot of these people have gotten all this stuff about the three and a half years or the 120, with the 120 some days, uh, 1,200 and some days, which is equivalent to three and a half years, three and a half years. I don't know. I, I can tell you. That's, I don't know. That's not my interpretation. If God, that is in, read, if you read Daniel the 12th chapter, I'm going to tell you what this scripture is saying. Amen? Is that fair enough? So I'm not adding to it or taking it away from it. The only reason why I went into Daniel is because that's what he said. He said it was spoken. He said, then therefore you shall see the abomination spoken by Daniel. Here's where the funny part is. This is where there's people that teach only Israel will want to go through tribulation. The reason why I'm doing this is because, because there are people that teach because of this scripture only the Israelites will go through only Israel will go through the tribulation. Because we have been wrapped you up. Watch what I'm about to show you. I'm, I'm sticking with scripture. So if you believe that, that's what, I, I'm agreeing with you right now. Right? I just said that's what you, some people teach. I'm not here to beat you up. I'm just taking my scriptures. Follow one by ready to go. He says, But woe unto them that are without except, watch this. I'm 21. This breaks. I hate to say this. Can I say this? These things is going to happen. Then comes the tribulation. Now, we have a group that do believe that the church has always been raptured up at this time. Right? But then shall the great tribulation, which was not seen before, in this no time. And except these days will shorten, there shall be no flesh be saved. But for the elect sake, those days shall be shortened. Here's my problem with this that believes in pre rapture. Who is the elect? The next scripture mess up the pre rapture 
teaching. But the elect say those days were short. Then if any man shall come to you saying, Lo, here is Christ, there, believe not, but there shall arise false Christians, false prophets.